everyone. Good morning and welcome to today's class. This is Improving Your Strength and Stability. We're going to focus on balancing a lot and doing some light strength training. My name is Rebecca Zostek. I'm here at the Hope Health Center in Foothill Ranch. I'm a fitness trainer and health coach with the Hope Lifestyle Program. So I really hope that one day I get to meet you all in person and you come down here and check out our beautiful facility. Um, thank you also for being a subscriber on our Hope Health channel. Uh, it's such a great tool, right? It's such a great tool to listen to our uh, registered dietitian, Monica Brera, which is um, which she is our registered dietitian in the lifestyle program, and um, and have her do some lectures. Yesterday's was really really good. If you did not get a chance to uh, check that out, um, the foods, best foods, and foods not to have with um, arthritis. So yeah, I have a little arthritis too. So that was very helpful. Um, and just want to preface this by saying I apologize for the sound lately. In fact, I just remembered that I don't have my mic on. So let me see where it went really quick. And I will just plug that thing in. So just one moment. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so again, welcome. Thank you so much for being here and being a subscriber. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, I have a little bit of equipment here, as you can see. I have a pair of light weights. So if you have two pound weights, even if they're one pound um, wrist weights, that works really nice too. Um, some bottles of water. Um, these are three pound dumbbells. And then uh, I have a yoga strap. So what I put in the description for the class is if you don't have a yoga strap, I know most people don't, a belt works really well. So a robe belt, a jean belt, whatever you have. So you can pause me right now and go grab that. Uh, and we will use this to help with some balance drills. Um, I also have a chair nearby. Okay, so the chair really helps to give us a little bit more support as we're training the balance. Okay, because we want to make sure we are safe and when we're holding balances for a long period of time, you know, you really want to make sure that you are uh, safe and you have something to grab onto if you're falling out of that, not falling, but if you're coming out of that balance um, periodically throughout the exercises. Okay, so welcome again. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. We're going to start with a warm-up. So let's have the legs wide. Get that out of the way for right now. The legs are wide. Your toes are turned out. You're going to tuck your hips forward, okay? So your, your hips aren't back. You're tucking forward. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. If you're new to this class, okay, thank you for, um, you know, starting out with me here. Inhale, exhale. I just want to let you know that we um, we focus a lot on posture. I will be talking about that a lot in this class because that's so important to help you stay um, stable and balanced. Here we go. Nice big stretch again on one side. Uh, these are just feel good moves right here. All you're going to do here is just kind of let your arms go forward and back, forward and back. And now I want you to just squat and back, squat and back. You can slow it down if you want. It doesn't need to be fast at all. Let's try three more. Just getting some blood flow going in the legs and the upper body. And one. And now stay down right here on your thighs. Drop your left shoulder. Get a gentle stretch in that upper back. Deep breaths. Good job, everyone. And now the other side. You know, a lot of times we uh, don't focus that much on back stretches, right? We feel it sometimes with back pain, but we just don't focus too much on back stretches. And hold it down, we're gonna stretch that again. So with that said, I just want you to know that coming September, coming September through the next three months, I will be doing full body stretch on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. So September through December on Tuesdays, we'll add that class. All right, so left foot out, we're just gonna reach forward for the toes, gentle stretch in the back of the legs. And then coming up, and again, a little more dynamic movement, down and up, and one more time, down and up. Let's change legs, so now you have your right leg out, and just a gentle stretch first, uh, and then coming up, and here we go, down and up, and one more, down and up. Okay, 
So let's get started with some balance drills. Are you ready? All right, so let's start with the legs about hip width apart. So right underneath your hip bones, pull the belly in tight, open up your chest, okay? So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. That really helps with posture. We're gonna lift up onto the toes, arms out to the side, and coming right back down. Here we go, up and down. So try to do this, you know, without, um, you know, kind of torquing in the knees or anything like that, or moving forward. Let's try to do a really clean set as we practice this balance movement, okay? So up, straight up towards the ceiling, and down. Let's do four more, and four. Exhale as you lift, three. Nice job, two. Now stay up for me right here, are you ready? Stay up, are you near your chair, your counter? Okay, hold it, four, three. Stay up now, I want you to walk on your tippy toes. Walk, 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 okay? Good, now let's see if we can walk on the heels. Change the feet, so now you're walking on your heels. Can everybody do that? I'm watching the chat. Okay, back on the toes. And back on the heels. I know it's kind of funky, but all right. It's a good way to see if there is mobility, good mobility in your back. All right, nice job. So now we're just gonna do a little bit of a lunge. Come down onto the thighs right here, hands on your upper thighs. You're just gonna lean over to one side. As you do this, I want you to shoot your hips back behind you. Your right knee now, where is it? It's not pushing forward. We don't wanna push weight in that knee. Rely on your hips and your glutes, okay? So you take it to the right, and then we shift to the other side. Think about right now putting the weight in your heels, in your heels, okay? Good, so we want to get those heels to take the brunt of this work because that's what triggers our glutes. Yay, okay, four more, <laughs> three, two, one, and coming center and rounding out the back and calming up nice and slow. All right, so we're gonna get started now with a little bit more exercises for the legs. I'm going to use one dumbbell for this exercise. Okay, so what you're gonna do, I'll turn sideways. Your legs are right underneath your hips. We're gonna come down as if we're gonna sit down in the chair. Put your weight in your heels, in the heels. Come up and now press the arms up overhead. Okay, so we're gonna add on to this. Eventually, we're gonna lift one leg up. So if the weight is a little bit much to use, don't use it, okay? Stretch. Pull that belly in right here. Stretch the arms all the way up and back down. As I push up, I'm trying to get all the air out of those abdominal muscles. Yeah, up. Are you ready to try a leg lift? Left leg up. Up. And down. And up. And down. Now, if you are doing this exercise and the balance is a little challenging right there, just tap the toe. Keep the toe on the floor. Keep the toe on the floor. Okay? And then when you feel a little more secure, you can lift a little bit and come right back down. Okay? Let's try four more. Here we go. Down. Four. Inhale, exhale, three. We're jumping into the nitty gritty here. Two, and one. Whew, great job, everyone. Go ahead and set that weight down. Okay, so now that the hips and the glutes are pretty warm, we're gonna do some more balance drills working with the hips and the glutes. You're gonna take your right foot out in front of you, and we're gonna do a little hip rotation balancing on one leg. Okay, so left leg is slightly bent. Lift your right leg, right here. Keep the chest lifted. Mm, left leg slightly bent, good, good. Now you're gonna pull the knee up and rotate to the side and bring it back down in front, yeah? Set it down. All right, let's give it a try. Now, if you wanna hold the chair or the counter, continue to do so, or you can practice letting go every now and then or the whole way through. All right, let's go, lift the knee. Uh, extend out to the side and back down. Okay, let's try. Up and down. And up and down. Good. How are we doing? Doing good, I hope. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go in the reverse direction. Now from the side to the front. Oh, okay. Front, side, and front. Side and front. Again, up. Woo, 
one more. Up and down. Okay, so same leg. Swoop it out to the side and right back down. And we do this without holding on. We're gonna try. Here we go. Stay tight with those abdominals. Keep your chest lifted. Okay, a big part of balance, remember, is posture. So that's why we need upper body strength training. Okay, let's try four more. All four. Work that hip. Three. Come on, here we go. Two. And hold it up for me right here. Hold it up. Take that left arm out. Take the left arm out. Elbow to knee. And tap the toe. Elbow to knee. Tap the toe. How's that left leg doing? It's kind of getting tired of holding the weight, right? It's okay. You're almost there. Three more. Uh, three. Let's try to hold that leg out. Two. One. And rest. Oh. Okay, let's see who we have on today. Okay, welcome everyone. I have six of you with me at this moment. Thank you for being here. I hope you're doing well. We are going to get working on the other side now. So, get ready for the hip rotation. Okay, so we balance first, get that balance working. Uh, make sure your right leg now is slightly bent. Okay, we're ready. You're gonna lift the leg, knee comes up, turn it out and turn it out. Keep practicing, okay? Have that chair nearby, I need it too. I feel my, this side is a little bit sketchy here with balance. Up and out, pull those abs in tight. Oh yeah, just reminded myself. Good, and let's go in the reverse direction. Here we go, up and forward, up. You know, this is such a great exercise too if you're doing a lot of sitting. You know, if you're working, you're doing a lot of sitting, because you're activating those hips. Yes. Oh, balance. Okay, two more. Two. We gotta make it up for that one. And one. And rest. Okay, same side. We're gonna lift it up to the side. And we go up and down. This side is really struggling a little bit today. I don't know. Good. Up and down. Push back. Push back. Okay. How are we doing? Hold that chair or that wall or a counter if you need to. So you can work and train this exercise and strengthen those hips. Okay, let's try three more. Here we go. Three, get ready. Two, and hold it up for me. Here we go. Hold it up right there, taking the right arm up and it's knee to elbow. Tap the toes, hug the floor if you need it. And down, or up rather. Up and down and up. And down, good. Let's try now to keep the foot off the floor. If you're ready for that, here we go. Good. Woo. Let's try two more. And a one. And a two. And rest. Oh, walk those legs around. Okay, nice work. Changing over to the other side. Okay, our next exercise. We are going to work the hamstrings and the glutes. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is you're holding on to the counter or the chair here. Take your right leg back, just like this. Your front leg is slightly bent, okay? We don't want to lock out the knee. We want it to have some give. Right here, keep those abs tight and the chest is open. That means it's up and it's not down here, okay? So lift your chest, lift, lift, lift. And you're going to just lift the back leg for a little hamstring curl right here. Okay, so we're activating and isolating right here, your hamstrings. Okay, get them working. Now, if you're feeling up to it, maybe, maybe not, we're going to let go of the chair. Ready? Let's let go of the chair. And here we go. Balance. Balance. Stay fixed on one thing, okay, so you're not looking around. I'm looking at this dot on the floor, and I'm kind of going back and forth between these two, two dots. <laughs> All right, hold it up now for me right here. Hold it up, everybody. Hold it up. Lift your chest up a little bit more. Hold it. Good, good. Hold it. Four, three, two, one, and coming down. Where are you feeling that? When you're holding this leg up, you should be feeling that, that standing leg in the hip, right? It is training, it is working. Okay, here we go everyone on the other side. So we're kind of leaning 
down a little bit. Back foot is going to lift up into that hamstring curl. Ready? Here we go. And up and down. You know, I need to do a lot of talking in this class, so I'm not playing, it, playing, playing any music because it's so important to have the technique and the cues for this class. Okay? And up you go. Now, as you're doing this, try not to put your weight into the counter or the chair. Stay light. Light. Okay, let's try letting go. Keep the chest lifted. And here you go. Up, down. You know, you can always keep one hand on the chair if you want. Just training the balance. All right, keep going. Let's try four more. Three, two, one more and hold it up. Hold it up right here. You can lean forward a little bit if you need to. Hold it here. Four, three, two, one. And coming down. Oh. All right. Okay, everyone, we are going to work with the weights. So we're coming into a balanced position. Something I mentioned earlier, you know, um, our balance gets sacrificed many times because of our posture. Once our posture starts to be, be um, compromised, if the shoulders are rolling forward, if there's some sort of um, significant muscle loss in the upper body, your, your posture is going to be sacrificed. And then when that happens, you know, things start changing in the body as far as strength and stability goes, mobility, right? So super important to work on upper body strength. I'm going to show you an exercise for your upper back, okay? So we don't want the neck to get involved. So we have to super concentrate, all right, sending our brain message to the muscles we want to work. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your weights here in front of you, bend down a little bit, and you're just going to pull the elbows back. We don't want to shrug, okay? Pull the elbows back so you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's what we want, okay? So sink down a little bit. I'm not going to do the balance right now, okay? So let's just do back. And let's go. So pull and squeeze, extend. Pull and squeeze, extend. Make a muscle with that back. That's what I like to say. Yes? It's like your middle back is making a fist. Ooh, there. Okay? Yes? How are we doing, guys? We're good. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being here. Let's try four more. And squeeze the middle back. And three. And two. And one. Okay. Our next strength exercise is for the shoulders. What happens with the shoulders? Oh, they start to roll over, right? They start to roll over and they get really weak and then we lose the mobility in our shoulders. It's painful. So be careful with this exercise. You can do it without weights, okay? No weights, you can do the exercise. Um, or if you want a little bit more of a load, you can use up to eight pounds, okay? But I'm using a three pounder. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your right foot out in front of you. It can be up. It can be up on the um, toe or, or straight leg or bent leg, okay? So make sure you have something to hold on to. Right leg is up, left arm is doing the work, okay? Opposites. Here we go, we're gonna push the arm up and come back down. Push the arm up and down. Yes, keep your chest lifted. We don't want the chest coming down here. No, no, pull the chest up, okay? Just like that. Good. Keep working the balance. Let's go. Push and down. And push and down. Yes, good job. Here we go. Three more times. Up three and two and one. Okay. Yes, no, I don't know how many we just did right there. So, <laughs> okay, let's try the other side. So, if we need our support, we'll bring the chair on the other side. Okay, you're ready. Your right arm, your left leg. Okay, keep that leg off the floor. Here we go, pushing up. You're balancing, abs are tight. Two, and go. Three. Exhale, inhale. 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 Exhale, inhale.
exhale, inhale. Don't worry about it too much, just breathe. Good, good. Okay, push through. And again, let's do three more. And it's three, two. If you have any questions, one. If you have any questions about something, please let me know. I'm watching the monitor right now. If you would like me to do something in particular, now's the time. Now's the time. All right. Moving on to the next exercise is core rotation. Super important because a lot of times, you know, when we're out walking around and something gets your attention and you turn too quickly, okay, those abs, the obliques aren't conditioned enough to, to control the movement. There gets too much momentum in the hip and then boom, right? We fall or come out of alignment. So we don't want that. We are going to practice core rotation. What I want you to do is have your left foot in front, please. Left foot in front, abs are tight. Bend your legs just a little bit. You have your strap, a belt, a yoga strap, a robe belt, okay? Whatever you have, even a towel, okay? Arms out in front of you. Keep the abs tight, keep your chest lifted. Right here, sink down. You're going to twist, okay? Twist, 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 hold it, and bring it back. Same direction, same side, twist. And you know, you can look down at the floor if you want, just kind of keeping your eyes moving around so you don't get dizzy. But while we're doing this, think about a few things. We want to relax the shoulders, so you're not here. Relax the shoulders, keep your chest lifted, breathe, squeeze your inner thighs, Anchor your body. I know, so much to think about. Yeah. One more time. And rest. Let's change the legs. So now your right foot's in front, left foot back. Bend the legs a little bit. Open your chest. Arms out in front. Relax your shoulders. Ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. And twist. And back. Inhale, exhale. It's my, um, well, it's your back hand, okay, that's kind of driving the force. And then you're feeling that twist through the obliques, okay? If you're not feeling it right now, just keep the motion going, keep practicing, and you'll eventually get there, okay? You will. And four more, here we go. Big twist, and back, and twist. And rest. Okay. Ooh, getting sweaty. <clears throat> Our next exercise. This time I have the legs a little closer together. If you can get them lined up in straight line, heel toe, that would be super, super awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. That gives you the most challenge. Okay. If we're not there yet, it's okay. Hey, we're working on it. So you just open up the legs a little bit more. You have your strap, okay, your towel, your belt, whatever you have out in front of you. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I need some water. Okay, now you're gonna lift your arms up, abs tight. We've done this one a few times. Squeeze your inner thighs, guys. Pull the belly tight, relax your shoulders. Oh my gosh, so much to think about. Okay, we got it. Now I just want you to bend to the side. And what happens here? A lot of times people will fall out of this, okay? That's all right, we're practicing, that's why we're here. Open the legs then a little bit. Get a good stretch, and then bring it back, and arms come down, relax, okay? Same side, same side. Remember, open the legs if you need to. Here you go. You're doing awesome, you're doing a great, great job. Here we go. And stretch to the side. Oh, we feel that. And coming back center, and down. Let's change legs. Left leg in back, right foot in front. Okay, here we go. Up, stretch, and back. We'll definitely be doing this exercise in the full body stretch class a few times. That's coming up in September, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, oh, one more, one more on this side. Uh, maybe I did more. 
What do you think? One more time? Yeah, okay. One more time to this side. Inhale here and stretch over and down. Oh, great work on that. Okay, last one really quick. Open up the legs nice and wide. We're going to go for a little squat here. You're going to lift the arms, okay? And then you're going to go from one side to the other side and start over. Here we go. Let's try four. Coming down into a squat. Scoop the arms up and stretch one side, stretch the other side, center and down. Here we go. Down and lift. And down again. Three. Stretch. And center and down. Last one. Big scoop up. And relax. Okay, guys. So what I'm trying to do is target all those major muscle groups that help with our stability. That's your core your hips, your calf muscles, and your upper body, of course. So, so much to do in so little time. I'm going to do one more exercise for you here. Okay, so this one is going to work the gluteal muscles, and we're working balance. So let me demonstrate here first, and then um, whatever you need to set up, you can follow along there. Your right leg now is going to lift up straight as your arms go forward. Okay, and we're just going to kind of do a little Superman here, and then come back up. Same leg, okay? So same leg. It's those glute muscles that have to lift the leg and the abdominals stay nice and tight. Here we go. Okay, we have that chair. One last time, we're gonna hold it up, okay? One last time, we're gonna just go flying. Hold it here. Let's see if we can let go of the chair. Maybe one hand and maybe both. Hold it, three, two, one, and coming down for a landing. Okay, let's try the other side. This is your last one. All right, let's get ready. <sighs> Abs tight, so pretty outside. It's just no clouds. Crazy. All right, here we go. And lean forward, reach, 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 and coming up. Just training, just training the movement. Getting those glutes to do some work. And come up. Again, here's three. Okay. Last one, we're gonna hold it up. Here we go. And hold it up. Find your balance here. Let's see if we can let go of the chair. How about one hand? And then the other. Hold it, three, two, one, and coming in for a landing, there we go. Oh, we did it, guys, great job, great job. So legs nice and wide, nice big inhale here, reaching up, exhale, bend the legs, drop the chest forward, and rolling up. Again, nice big inhale. Let me see, do I have any questions for me? Oh, nope, okay, good. That's okay, good job, everyone. And hold it down now on the thighs. Drop your left shoulder just like we kind of did earlier. And other side. And center and rolling up. Let's do a little head tilt. Okay, so to your left side. And if you want to place the hand on there just to get a little tiny bit more pressure there. Okay, and chin to chest. And other side. A little bit more pressure if you want. You don't have to. Okay. And center. Big shoulder rolls back three times. And two. And one. And reverse it. Three. Two. And one. Nice big inhale. Legs together. And exhale. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be safe out there. Drink lots of water all day. So I'm going to have my water right now. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you on Friday at 10 a.m. for boot camp if you take that class. If not, I'll see you next uh, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.